I have a lot of baby registry tips and advice on my channel, but recently I have been getting tons of DMs on what website is the best one to create a baby registry on and why. And it would take me hours to answer all of the DMs in the detail I feel like I need to. So I figured why not just make a video of the best baby registries to sign up for in 2021. I'm going to share my screen with you, take you through each one, share the pros and cons, and at the end, I'm going to rank them from best to worst. But before we get into it, I have to shamelessly plug my channel. Please like and subscribe if you have not already, and if you are a current subscriber, thank you so much. I really do appreciate you guys. Okay, right off the bat, I'm going to spoil something. If you like free baby stuff, I'm going to advise you right now that you're going to want to start a registry on Amazon, Bye Bye Baby, Target, and Walmart. I have baby registry affiliate links in the description below that you can click. It'll take you right to the sign up page, make it super easy, and you can sign up for each registry as you follow along and listen to the pros and cons of each. Now, I am not saying to sign up for the registries and fill them out in full. I am just telling you to sign up for a bare bones registry right now, just so that you can get the freebie that comes with those registries. And then after you learn about all the registries through this video, you can then figure out which one you want to house your full registry. I'm sorry, that was so rude. Everyone always has a question for mom, right? Let's go to the computer. The first baby registry that we're going to go over is Bye Bye Baby because they're like the OG baby store that started it all. So we'll start with them. Their baby registry has a lot of pros. The first big pro, as I mentioned before, is their baby registry freebie bag that you get just for signing up for a registry. You don't even have to add anything to your baby registry. You literally just create it. And then when you go in store, you go to guest services, let them know you started a registry, show them your phone or you log on their computer and then you get the freebie bag it's that simple and they have one of the better freebie bags in my opinion the next pro that I don't see outlined here but you do have one year from the date of purchase to return anything off of your baby registry so if you get duplicates or you just didn't use the item you can return it within one year of the purchase date which is one of the longer return windows next big perk is the baby registry completion discount you get 15% off the remaining items that are not fulfilled off of your registry and you can add items after the fact too but just whatever is on your registry you have that one time use 15% off discount and the other big bonus about that is there are no exclusions to that you know you get those 25% off coupons for one item but there's tons of exclusions on them let me let me try to show you so these are the my offers and this is another thing actually that you have to sign up for so I will have another link to sign up for the my offers for bye bye baby in the description box below but once you sign up for my offers they send you coupons that you can use and you get these 20 to 25 percent off coupons fairly frequently but they are just full of exclusions on some of the brands that I feel like are more popular. And so the coupon's not quite as useful, but when you get your registry completion coupon for 15% off, there are no exclusions to specific items. So if you want a really nice baby jogger stroller, which can run you up to $1,000, you can get that 15% off, which is a huge savings. And the reason I suggest signing up for the My Offers right now using the link below is if you wait to sign up for the My Offers once you are in store and you just want the coupon right away, once you sign up, they don't send you the 20% off coupon for a day or two. So if you wanna leave the store with some actual product, you won't be able to get the discount if you didn't sign up for My Offers in advance. The next pro of a Bye Bye Baby registry is they offer group gifting. This is relatively a new ad by Bye Bye Baby. Multiple people can join in and gift you a specific item. And really, they're not actually gifting you the specific item. What happens is you receive fund credits. So really, you're you're basically being gifted a gift card, which then you can use to buy whatever you want on your registry. But it's still just a cool option because I always felt guilty personally registering for really expensive things because when, when I was registering, group gifting wasn't an option online. But I felt guilty registering for expensive things because I didn't expect any single person to gift me anything that was hundreds and hundreds of dollars. But now that group gifting is an option, you can add your splurge items to your registry and 
you don't have to feel bad that you don't have to feel like you're asking people to spend exorbitant amounts of money on you because of the group gifting option. The last pro of a Bye Bye Baby registry is it's nice if you live near a store to actually be able to go to the store and see the items. They have tons of items actually put together so you can test them out, give your give the stroller you want a test run. It's just nice to look at the actual items sometimes. And then you can price shop after you leave Bye Bye Baby because going into the cons, Bye Bye Baby is quite expensive. I really don't need to elaborate much more on that. Just when you go into store or if you look on their site, they focus more on mid-range to high-end baby items. They don't have a lot of options for moms on a tight budget. So if you have specific splurge categories, Bye Bye Baby is the place to look for those, but just on basic essentials, things you want to save money on, I would not go to Bye Bye Baby for those. Another con is what you see here. Their registry checklist, in my opinion, is the worst online registry checklist out of all the sites we're going to go over. Like, it's, it's just so so extensive and they don't really they don't give you any any guidance and a lot of this stuff that they have broken out here it's just it's not actually essential and the last con to a bye bye baby registry is you can only add items from bye bye baby to your registry which it seems like that sounds obvious but actually a lot of the registries now are what they call universal registries so you can add items from a variety of stores to a single registry so that you only have one registry that you need to share out. And that is just not an option with Bye Bye Baby. Which brings me to my next registry, the Amazon Baby Registry. Amazon does allow you to create a universal registry so you can add items from a variety of stores to your single Amazon Baby Registry. Here is how it works. All you need to do is you install this Amazon Assistant onto your Google Chrome. And then as you are shopping for baby items or adding items to your registry, you can go to Target, Walmart, just a variety of other stores. And when you find an item you want added to your Amazon registry, you just click on your Amazon Assistant and so now you can view your baby registry on Amazon and you can see, go to my registry, there it is, other, you can see the items that I added from Target. So I really like the universal baby registry function if you want to just have one or maybe two baby registries but you have a huge variety of stores you want to add items from, just having the universal option makes it so much better. Another perk is the registry completion discount. So Amazon has a completion discount of 10% for non-Prime members and 15% for Prime members. And I like I don't know who doesn't have Prime nowadays. I'm obsessed with Amazon Prime, like not sponsored. Nothing in this video is sponsored. But if you don't have Prime, especially when you're a parent, it's you're going to be ordering a lot of stuff. Having Prime and free shipping is going to save you a lot of money. I have a link for that too below. But you you can use it you don't have to use it whatever the next bonus is the free baby registry welcome box that you get for your amazon baby registry this is this is a good freebie box too there are a lot more steps you need to do to get it it's not as easy as the bye bye baby one and actually i'm not going to go into extreme detail on it i have a video that i will have linked below where i go through how to get your Amazon freebie box like step by step in detail. Ooh, this is new, registry diaper discount. Get 20% off eligible diaper purchases in your baby's first year. This is a new ad, that is a definite pro. However, I will mention that if you are a Prime member, you are automatically enrolled into Amazon Family, which allows you to get up to 20% discounts on subscribe and save items. So you do need to have, I think it's like five items set up for subscribe and save to get the full 20% discount. But if you subscribe and save for just diapers and wipes, like that's two of five items. You're 40% of the way to subscribe and save. But this is nice if you're not Amazon Prime and don't do subscribe and save. Next pro for me, I don't see that they have it listed here, but Amazon does have group gifting for the expensive items the same way Bye Bye Baby does. And that is, again, a big pro for me. And another cool thing that they have 
have is this diaper fund, which allows your friends and family to contribute towards diaper costs, which basically essentially gives you an Amazon gift card that you can use on diapers. The next big pro that I've always liked about Amazon is their registry checklist. I feel like is one of the better ones. It makes it really easy to understand. They have everything categorized and they don't have like a bajillion cat subcategories within a category to make creating and building your registry easy step by step. And you can check off items that you maybe already have completed on another registry so that you don't accidentally register for duplicate items or for similar items within the same category. Oh, and I can't forget the con of the Amazon baby registry. Amazon does not have the most lenient return policy when it comes to their baby registry. You only have 90 days from your listed due date to make returns from your registry, which is one of the stricter return policies and may not give you enough time to really see if you need an item. So that is the con of the Amazon baby registry. Which brings me to our next registry, which is Target. And they have the best return policy out of all of the registries I'm going to talk about today. The Target return policy allows you to return items up to a year from your due date. So not a year from the purchase date, because obviously most baby showers happen before baby arrives, but a year from the due date you list on your registry, you got a lot of time. You have baby's whole first year of life. Another bonus of the Target registry is they have their free welcome gift bag or I guess they call it a free welcome kit that has over $120 worth of coupons and samples for you. It really is a very nice freebie bag and all you have to do is sign up for a bare bones registry. Nothing even needs to be added on it and then you can go to guest services in the store and get your freebie bag. Another pro to the Target registry which is a little bit more generous than all of the other registries is they have the 15% off completion discount coupon just like the other stores I've talked about but you actually get two from Target. You get one that you can use in store and one that you can use online. And another bonus about this that's kind of skirting the rules a little bit, but when you get to your 15% off completion discount window and like no one's really looking at your registry anymore, you can add items to your registry that are not necessarily baby items. I mean, I love shopping at Target and just perusing the aisles, getting stuff for me. If you just add those items to your baby registry, it applies for the 15% off coupon. So you can just like get a huge Target haul and get 15% off of everything. Okay, here are the other benefits that I was looking for. They do offer group gifting just like Bye Bye Baby does, just like Amazon does. It works the same way that people can select the group gifting option on very expensive items and it essentially just sends you a Target gift card that you can use on whatever you want. And then Target, this is new. They are actually also a universal registry as well, just like Amazon. And it's really easy to add this button. I'm not gonna do it because I don't want more plugins on my computer, but you literally just drag this up to your bookmarks and then it works very similar to the Amazon Assistant one where when you're on other sites, you just click add it to your target registry and boom it's added. For cons of a Target registry, like I really, I can't think of any off the top of my head. Target is going hard. Like they're trying to get us moms dedicated and loyal to their store because it seems like they just looked at what all the other registry sites are doing and then just one up to them. Oh, and then let's not forget the checklist, just how the actual baby registry is laid out. Target does a great job with this too. Actually, it looks like Amazon kind of copied Target's registry checklist. It's set up almost the exact same way where they have a category with subcategories within it that you can either manually check off if you got them fulfilled at another store or as you select items, let's say we want this. Add to registry. All right, it's been added to my registry. So now if we go back to the registry, it's automatically been checked off for us and shows us what we registered for specifically. And it shows you, if you close this down, it shows you the amount that's been completed and you can just work through all of your categories. I think this is one of the most user-friendly setups. I especially like that they specifically show you 
what you put into your registry. Next registry we're gonna go over is the Walmart baby registry. Now this is the last baby registry site that gives you a fully free freebie bag just for signing up for a registry. And it used to be like fairly difficult to get your free welcome box, but they've actually made it really easy now and you can just do it within your baby registry. It used to be this whole separate site you had to go through, but they consolidated to make it easy on us mamas. It says they have easy one year returns which is a really generous return window when I click on it it doesn't take me anywhere so it doesn't say if it's from the purchase date or from the due date you enter in so I'm just going to assume it's one year from the purchase date but that's still a really generous return policy oh and I guess it's also worth noting it's one year on eligible registry items. So the regular Walmart return policy is anywhere from 14 to 90 days. So I guess just be cautious that if it's not eligible, it's not necessarily that generous of a return policy. Now I do like Walmart. I go there at least once a week to do my grocery pickups and sometimes I'll just randomly go into peruse around. They actually have like some cute clothes sometimes for really cheap, but their registry site, as much as I like Walmart for other things, their registry site does have a lot of cons. So first con is their actual like registry checklist isn't nearly as user-friendly as the Amazon and Target one. It gives you the main categories, but when you click on it, it doesn't give you any subcategories. So if you are a brand new parent, which if you are starting a registry, I'm going to assume you are, it it's not very helpful in telling you the specific subcategories that you would need. It just gives you just like a random hodgepodge list of items that would fall into that category. But, oh, and I guess, oh, here, they eventually give you the subcategories. It's still, you don't get the subcategories till you get to this section. And then once, let's add some items. Add to registry. I mean, even this, it's taking forever to load. Like the actual baby registry site, separate from the Walmart site, I it's just, it's not very user-friendly in my opinion. It has the items listed here, but I'm trying to get back to the checklist and the checklist is just not even loading right now. So yeah, I think this is a pretty good example of the actual baby registry online site that you would use from home isn't necessarily the best. Another con of the Walmart baby registry site is they don't offer group gifting on things and they are not a universal baby registry. So you can't add items from stores outside of Walmart to your Walmart baby registry. I feel like I've mentioned a lot of cons to the Walmart baby registry, but the, the big pro, I guess I'll reiterate at the end, is if you are a mom on a budget, like Walmart is the place to go. I feel like that's pretty obvious. Like I don't even have to say it, but I'm going to say it anyways. They have the best prices on car seats, strollers, like they don't have the high end options, but what's nice is they have off brand options on car seats and strollers that you can't get at other stores that are nice quality value options at affordable prices if you don't have like a huge amount of money to splurge on your registry and if the people buying for you don't have a huge amount of money to splurge on your registry. I know a lot of people, even though it's 2021 and it's supposed to be so much better, like a lot of people still still are affected by the pandemic. I lost my corporate job from the pandemic. So I, I know from firsthand experience, me and a lot of people I knew lost our jobs. So if people don't have as much of a budget to buy stuff, but they still wanna gift you items, like having a Walmart registry is, is good for that because they have really good prices. I feel like I've laid out a lot of cons. Oh, the, the other con I forgot to mention is there's no completion discount on your Walmart registry, which kind of makes sense because Walmart is like everyday great value. So I guess it kind of makes sense why they don't offer the 15% completion discount, but it's still a con because all the other places do offer that. Watch my Walmart baby holy grails and fails video. I will have it linked below for just more details on what I get for baby at Walmart. And actually I have holy grails and fails videos for Target and Bye Bye Baby as well. And I'm thinking about making an Amazon one if you guys want that. But it's gonna be another, you know, share screen style 
style video. So let me know if you want that or let me know if you don't want it to because then I won't waste my time or your time on making it. Now we will move to the baby list baby registry. Baby list started as kind of the first universal registry option. That's how it gained popularity. But obviously, as you've seen now, it is not the only option when it comes to a universal baby registry. So they've had to figure out and make some changes to set themselves apart. So the first benefit to the baby list registry is they do offer a 15% registry discount just like the others. And just like the others, the 15% discount at each site only applies to the items on their respective sites. The items that you add from other stores don't get the 15% discount. And in the last year, Babylist has actually added tons of items to their own inventory. So you can add a huge variety of items to your Babylist registry and you buy it like through Babylist. So it would apply for the 15% registry discount. Another pro that is unique specifically to Babylist, and it, it's a pretty big pro in my opinion, is when you add items to your baby registry it actually price compares it for you and for the people shopping for you. So the Nose Frida, for example, it shows you that Target is actually not the place to, to get your Nose Frida. You can get it from Amazon for the cheapest out of all the places. And it, it actually, ooh, wow, this is a huge savings. So this Evenflow Pivot Travel System, you're saving like $40 if you get it on Amazon versus Target or Babylist. So having just the price compare option could result in huge savings for the people buying for you or for yourself when you're completing your registry. Another huge pro that Babylist offers that no one else offers on my list is they have a cash fund. So you can create different types of cash funds, whether it's a college fund, diaper fund, just a basic cash fund. You can either select to receive it by cash or check, or you can select to add your PayPal account and link your PayPal account to Babylist. And then when people want to gift you cash, they can gift it and it just goes and deposits it right into your PayPal. Next pro to the Babylist registry is they do have the option to group gift. Now the cons for Babylist. The first con is their free registry gift box isn't actually free. I can't even find it. It's like, so I feel like a lot of like my baby list explanation so far has been trying to find things. It's not necessarily the most user friendly site in my opinion, at least, but yes, their, their free registry gift box isn't actually free. You have to pay $10 in shipping and the box itself, I don't think is any better than the four actually free ones that I talked about before. Another con, this one's kind of obvious, but Babyless isn't an actual store. So for me, I, I'm old school. I personally like going to a store to return items because I like seeing the return happen getting the receipt, like the 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 proof that I have the money. Baby list doesn't have store locations because it is only a site. And that that's a big con for me at least. And you might be thinking, well, Amazon's not a store. You can't return Amazon items like to a store, but actually, yes, you can. Within like the last year or so, Amazon has actually partnered with Kohl's. So you can return Amazon items to Kohl's stores. They ship it out and do everything for you for free. So Babylist truly is the only registry of the five registries I'm talking about that do not allow you to return items to a store. Next con of the Bye Bye Baby registry is like their, their baby registry checklist, like this area here that shows you everything. I mean, the way that this registry is set up just isn't nearly as easy as the Target or the Amazon layout. Honestly, even the Walmart layout is better than this. Like it has feeding here, but it doesn't have any subcategories to help you out in the least. It's kind of just a hodgepodge general. Like what does that even mean? So the actual way that the registry is laid out doesn't make it easy to me on how to add anything. Considering it's supposed to be like the universal baby registry, Registry, it doesn't give you very many helpful tools to guide you through the process and keep you organized through the process, especially since their whole thing 
is adding a whole bunch of items from a whole bunch of different stores. So now that we've gone through the five most popular registries, let's talk about which ones I think are best. Two years ago, when I made a video similar to this, I had Amazon ranked as my number one, but with all the changes that Target has made, I, I think they're in the number one spot now. And for number two, I'm going to say it goes to Amazon. Amazon is still a great place to house your registry. The only cons were they don't have as generous of a policy as Target in terms of the return window. They don't give you two 15% completion discounts like Target. And if you don't live near a Kohl's, you don't necessarily have an easy way to return or you don't have any way to return an item in store. For the number three spot, I am putting Baby List. Even though I did have a lot of cons for them, I think the few things that they do offer that no other registry offers puts them in the number three spot. The bottom two registries I am actually putting at a tie because whether it falls into fourth or fifth place for you it really depends on the type of budget you and the people buying from your registry have. Like Bye Bye Baby has the mid-tier to very high-end baby items, which also means that they have very expensive prices. Whereas Walmart doesn't have like luxury strollers and stuff, they offer more mid-tier and then budget items. So if you are on a lower budget, Walmart is obviously the better option for you out of those two. If you enjoyed this video, I will have my whole prepping for baby playlist floating over the screen somewhere at this point and my holy grails and fails playlist so just click on one of those videos and i will see you in the next video bye